and awaken up. All right. Dee, 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 dee. Diana, it's me, Tariq. I'm here for you. How are you feeling? Oh, Tariq, my stomach is hurting bad. Diana, I'm staying here with you. I stayed all night. I found you. You was over by the trash bags. I didn't know what was going on. I called 911 as fast as possible. I just wasn't sure what, what was going on. Tariq, a cop did this to me. You said you was going to protect me. Diana, I was trying to protect you. We said we were going to meet up after the Zion incident happened. I was, uh, I was at the cookie shop. You never showed up. I, I did what I said. I held up my bargain. Tariq, you let me get beat up. Diana, I understand you're going through something right now, but your judgment is a little bit cloudy. Your memory is a little off. You don't, you don't remember I told you I was going to meet you at the cookie shop? You said all oh, the baby wanted was some cookies, and you never showed up. So how could I protect you if I wasn't there? Tariq, the dope game, you said you were going to protect me by being in the game. Yeah, I said that, but that had nothing to do with that cop. I don't even know who Felicia Jones is. Why were you dealing with Felicia Jones? Tariq, get out of here. So Diana is getting upset with Tariq because Tariq is telling the truth. Now, Tariq never had any interaction with Felicia. Diana never showed up to the cookie shop. So how could Tariq protect Diana from Felicia when Diana told Tariq to go unalive Zion to protect Di uh, Diana from Felicia? I said, what the hell is going on here? Why ain't no one calling Diana out on her shit? You know what I would have told Diana if I was Tariq? The same thing she said when Tariq said, you almost got my mama killed. Tariq, you didn't protect me. Oh, my bad. What? She's asking Tariq, why didn't you save me and protect me? Diana, you called me to kill Zion because you were scared to do it because you ain't Colombiana. So how could I protect your ass when I was protecting your ass by getting that body up out of here? Huh? Answer that, Diana. No, you stay out of here, nurse. Me and her, my baby bomber, are having a conversation. Sir, you're getting a little aggressive. You don't understand. What, close that door. We're calling security, sir. You need to leave. Yeah. See what you done did, Diana? You didn't got me all worked up in here. Tariq, just get out of here. I don't want to see you. So, Diana, no one's holding Diana accountable. No one's, no one's like, hey, Diana, why did this fight happen? Hey, Diana, why did Tariq have to go on the live Zion? Oh, because you had an incident with Felicia, right? What up, Danon? Right? Am I right? Why did someone answer this? Why did Tariq go to Zion's? Tariq went to Zion's, right? Because he was trying to get in good with Noma. But the only way that he had all this information is because Diana got the information from who? Felicia when she came to the house. So you would have never got jumped if you would have did what you were supposed to do, but you called Tariq for Tariq to protect you. So when Tariq went out to protect you and you end up getting jumped because you slapped Felicia, how are you going to blame this on Tariq? I didn't understand it. Felicia asked Diana to do her job because Monet wasn't there. <laughs> you remember? She said, Monet ain't here. You got to do it. We already know Monet going to throw her kids up under the bus, but we're talking about this situation where Diana saying, Tariq, you were supposed to protect me. I'm supposed to protect you, but you had my mama almost killed. And all she did was say my bad when they almost had Monet killed. What did she tell Monet in the, uh, in the motel? Oh, my bad. I would have told Diana when she was in that bed. Since that baby gone and I ain't got to be connected with this to hide they're going to say, Mo, this is harsh. This is ruthless. And I would have said, I don't give a fuck. Uh, Diana, my bad. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, it wasn't Diana's job to do it, but Diana told Tariq to do it. Diana just shouldn't have done it. 
but she told Tariq to do it because she was scared to catch a body. So that put Tariq into this nonsense. And then no one told Diana to slap Felicia. Diana slapped Felicia on her own. So she got stomped out. If you slap somebody, there's going to be consequences. So you can't say, Tariq, you were supposed to protect me when you were out here slapping niggas. You shouldn't have slapped goddamn Felicia. Felicia just asked you why you didn't do the job. You could have said, hey, man, Tariq got it done. It's done. Yeah, it was on footage. But who knows? Who cares? Diana put herself in this situation. I just wouldn't have did the shit. So Diana kicks Tariq out. Now, Tariq got to go and talk to goddamn Monet. Monet talking about how the baby. Hey, here it go. Here it go. Tariq, Tariq, how's the baby? Go see for yourself. She don't want me in there. <laughs> that was my baby, too. I'm going to go get even for this. I'm going to go handle this, Diana. That was my baby mama. Diana, she don't want me in there, but I'm going to get even. You know, the first thing I would have did, nigga, I would have left this hospital Woo. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. I was not trying to be a fucking father. Woo! Oh. Thank you. Who? Lord knows I wasn't planning on having no baby. Especially no Tejada baby. Woo! When I tell you the universe looks out for you, the universe looks out for you. They say everything happens for a reason. Well, there was a reason behind this. Oh. Who saw? Damn. Oh, man, because I sure would hate to give Club Truth to that little nigga. 
I would show hate to have Monet asking me questions. Tariq, you gonna pick up the baby? Whew. I really dodged the bullet with this one. I don't know whether to thank the Lord or that guy down there, but geez, Louise, whoever made this one happen. Matter of fact, I need it. I need it. I need it. Let me. I got it. I don't know. Hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Uh, Woo! Dear, dear Felicia, I respect you as a cop and a human. If there is Anything you need from me or the St. Patrick Trust Fund, don't hesitate to Give me a ring. Love, Tariq, Jerome, St. Patrick. We're going to mail this to Felicia, y'all. Dear Felicia, I respect you as a cop and a human. If there's anything you need from me or the St. Patrick Trust Fund, don't hesitate to give me a ring. We going to mail this off to Felicia because, boy, let me tell you, I'd be damned if I was having a Tejada baby. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Oh. Woo. That was a scary one. That was a scary one. We're going to keep this note right here. We're going to mail it off. We're going to get some postage on Monday. We'll get this in the mail. We're going to get that in the mail on Monday. <laughs> so Tariq leaves the hospital. He's talking about, I'm going to go get even. As soon as Tariq leaves the hospital, he calls up Davis. Now, Davis is in the gym. Davis kind of, he got the same physique as me. You know what I mean? He's just a little bit taller than me. But Davis, me and Davis got the kind of like the same physique. Now, Davis is in here like, Tariq, what do you want? He's like, nigga, I need information on the cop. What you got on Don Carter? What you got on his people, man? There's a name, Felicia. He's like, man, what are you doing, Tariq? You need to talk about this. Tariq said, no, I need it right now. I need that information right now. And Davis is like, man, fuck what is Tariq about to get into? Tariq, just chill. Just chill. Now, Tariq, once them emotions get involved with a St. Patrick, they don't know how to act. Now, they always, one thing we know about a St. Patrick, to their white Caucasian counterpart, Tommy and Braden, they're always telling them, hey, you need to slow down the thing. But when it's on them and their emotions get involved, especially over a woman, a St. Patrick will crash the fuck out over a woman. The St. Patrick, especially a, a, a Hispanic woman. We got Angela and we got a Tejada. Boy, these St. Patrick's, let me tell you, they will go above and beyond for their women. I mean, willing to risk it at all. So Tariq wants the information to the cops because he wants to go and get Felicia. He goes to the crib and he grabs his Thule. Braden is sleeping on the couch. Man, what's up, bro, ham? Now, what they playing, bad gamma? <laughs> Tariq goes and grabs his gun because he's talking about, man, fucking Diana got whooped on by a dirty cop. Now, if I heard dirty cop and Diana got whooped on, you know, it's one thing. Like, if my homeboy was to say something happened to his baby mama, this sounds bad, but that's not my baby mama. Like, if we're being honest, you can't crash out for someone else's baby mama. Like, this is where I say where I don't get in domestic uh, disputes. I don't I don't get involved in that. If it's you and your baby mama, y'all got issues. Y'all need to go like, who stomped at your baby mama? A dirty cop? Oh, well, y'all got to figure that out. That's a y'all thing. That ain't a us thing. Like. When it was me and L, you ain't want to help out. When it was me and Kiki, you ain't want to help out, Tariq. So I'm not helping you with your baby mama. 
We got to go get her, B. Braden is looking like, what do you mean, we? Tariq grabbed his gun, man. No, nah, man, fuck this. We got to get even. But this is where we get the clip from this week, and Stokely ends up knocking on the door. He talking about firing niggas. So the L situation hadn't happened yet. We'll throw Braden in, you know what I'm saying, where he belongs. We already talked about him a little bit with the, the Effie situation. But Stokely coming here talking about, man, y'all niggas is fired. How are we fired? We the one that got no lie trending on all the campuses. We the ones that was really making it happen out here in these streets. No one would have knew about you goofies. <laughs> yeah, Brady's going to get up and put his shoes on talking about, I'm going to roll with you. So Stokely shows up talking about, man, y'all niggas is fired. So Tariq, of course, he he emotional right now. So he get into it with Stokely. Like, nigga, you can't fire us. We put you on. And I, and I told y'all yesterday, ain't nobody coming to hear this no lie. <laughs> so they get the fight. And Braden's trying to break it up. This is exactly what I was thinking Braden was going to do. Tariq got a gun. I thought he was going to use it on Stokely, but at the same time, it's like, man, we still got to make this money. Stokely showing up, man. Y'all fired. It was a collaborator. First of all, Bruce Andrea don't make no decisions. And, well, I mean, at this point, they unless they locked him into like a contract, they can go do their own shows. But, man, they ain't about to be making no money because I don't know if it's fiends or fans. Man, who cares? Fiends bring in money. Fans can turn on you. When you turn a fan on, it isolates. It goes back and forth. They could be on you centered, but they could turn on you. You could turn a fan up. You could turn a fan off, but you can't turn a fiend off. The only way a fiend can get turned off is if you turn off a fiend's water. A fiend brings in money. See, a fan has a decision. A fan has a conscience that they can make a choice. Uh, I ain't got the money. I got to go pay rent this month. I'm going to go ahead and pay rent. But a fiend, on the other hand, there ain't no rent. A fiend needs that fix. So a fiend is always going to be there. When, when your baby mama leave you, that fiend going to be there. When you get fired from your job, that fiend going to be there. Yeah, when you run out of gas at the gas station, that fiend going to be there. The fiend is always going to be there. The fan ain't always going to be there. You can't depend on the fan. When it's cold outside, you don't want to turn the fan on. You can't depend on the fan. But that fiend going to be outside waiting on you. The fiend is always going to be there. The fiend is going to find a way. The fan ain't going to find a way. The fan might be like, oh, I can't cop it this week. But that fiend is going to find out how to get it. Whether that's selling that thing on the corner. Whether that's washing your window at the corner at the stoplight. Whether that's collecting money panhandling that fiend is gonna be there so stokely don't understand the game What up, Brillo? Now, I'm if I'm at a concert, I'd rather have all fiends in the crowd. Where my dope heads at? Where my dope heads at? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. You want that dope? Put your hands up. I got that dope. Put your hands up. Where my dope fiends at? Where my dope fiends at? Where the dope fiends? Where the dope fiends? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The fans, they be turning on you. Fans, they don't really care. Fans out there having a good old time. The Fiends is looking for that next fix. <laughs> Damn, did it get a little itchy in here? I need some Fiends. Matter of fact, I need some Fiends in the chat. Hit that cash app. M-O-E-D-O-T-J is pinned in the chat. Join the Discord. 
All right, so Tariq gets into it with Stokely. They get him up out of here. Now we got to continue on because Tariq, he got to go see his mammy. He shows up, and we finally see young Yaz. We haven't seen Yaz in years. Yeah, look how tall Yaz is, too. Hey, Tweek. Tweek, you're here. Are you here to stay this time, Tweek? I want you to see my big room, Tweek. You hear how she's saying Tweek? Because Tariq is weak as hell. Come on, Tweek. Tasha already knew if Tariq is showing up because Tariq don't show no love to no Tasha. The only time he's showing up is when she's either in danger or he needs some kind of advice. He don't just show up to hang out or whatever. Well, he technically ain't supposed to. But they show up. Yaz, she got that little ponytail in the back. Yaz is grown now, man. Yaz is about to get a part time job, get her driver's permit. She got her own bedroom now. They ain't living in poverty. We don't know where the hell grandma is. Probably in rehab. So Tasha's like, damn it, you lie like your daddy. But Tariq ends up telling her exactly what's going on. Now, I, I don't know how this feels. He had to tell his mom, man, I ain't going to lie to you, Ma. There's some shit going down. It's a dirty cop. Oh, yeah, and Diana was pregnant. She said Diana was pregnant. Yeah, man, Diana was pregnant. She's like, listen. That's their problem. You don't need to be getting involved in this. And that's why I was saying when Tariq, when uh, Diana called, like, hey, you didn't come over here. Tariq wasn't supposed to answer that call. Even Tasha was like, man, you let them deal with that shit, man. You let them deal with that shit. You ain't got, you can't go over there, man. <laughs> and now we see the manipulation from Tasha and we realize why James St. Patrick went with Angela. Hold on, what Tasha got? What Tasha's cooking though? It look like they got some pork chops over here. Okay, let me find out Tasha be in the kitchen whipping it up. Tariq came over here to talk to his mama. She trying to talk some sense into him. She talking about you got to take care of being... See, that's the issue right there, especially amongst our families. It is not the kids' responsibility to take care of our parents. It's the parents' job to take care of the kids. And then in the end, we'll look out for you. But Tasha, you took the stand and lied on Tommy. No, it's not my job to go to school and make sure that you are all right. I remember hearing grandma in the kitchen telling you to shut the fuck up, Tasha, because without James St. Patrick, you wouldn't have shit. And look what Tasha is doing. You remember when Tasha lived in that raggedy ass apartment when she left James and then she realized that she wasn't in the will. She wasn't in the trust. Tasha has been living off of government assistance in WIC since goddamn season six. Tasha. Now she's trying to be. Oh, Tariq, you need to do the right thing. But when Tariq was goddamn 16 years old, you were teaching him the game because James, his fucking father, was smart enough not to teach the nigga the game because he knew this would be the path that Tariq would go down. But now Tasha, all of a sudden, ding, 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 ding. Tariq's about to get this money. Let me act like a good mother and tell this nigga right from wrong when you were the one that got this little nigga in all this shit. If you wouldn't have took Tariq and taught him the game, we would have had a spinoff of Tariq graduates college. But now we got Tariq runs around the fucking New York City figuring out 
what is the next dope dealer to work for? Because you taught him the game. And obviously you didn't teach him the game because he can't keep a supplier for more than one freaking season. Tariq has to be the most successful, worst dope dealer we've seen in the power universe. Every time we think Tariq is about to make a power move, guess what? Turn the lights off on that nigga. Next season, start all over. It's never going to end for Tariq. And Tasha's just trying to find out how she ain't got to work at this goddamn Global Bark uh, fake-ass Costco getting hit on by the manager because she fucked up everything because all she had to do is just shut up and let James enjoy his life with Angela. But she was hating. She was fucking Shine. She was fucking Silver. She was fucking every nigga up under the sun except for me because I'm loyal to James St. Patrick. But Tasha now... Oh, Tariq, you got to do the right thing. You got to leave that alone. You got to take care of me and Yaz. Oh, no, 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 Tasha. Ain't no coming back around here, Tasha. It ain't no coming back around here. Tariq, you need to get that damn inheritance, and you need to leave Tasha where she be. Keep her ass there. You could probably take Yaz. You can take your little sister. But leave Tasha here. Tasha needs to continue to work 72 hours a week, 52 weeks a year. That's what Tasha needs to do. But Tasha is talking some sense into Tariq. I just had to get that off my chest because now we're seeing Tasha. Oh, well, Tariq, you know, you need to do this. This is the right thing to do. Don't be involved in that nonsense. Get away from the Tahitas. They tried to get me, but we're... No, 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 Ghost, yeah, okay. Ghost may have not been faithful, but this is after we found out that Tasha was showing her monkey to the driver. Like the first episode, Tasha was wilding out. Tasha is the reason for James separating from her. Tasha has no one to blame but her broke ass. Chicken head. <laughs> Man, James didn't talk bad to her. Man, that's fucked up. All right, so the next time we see Tariq, damn, a lot happens before we see Tariq. So Tariq goes over there. He talks to her. Where's the next time we see Tariq? The robbery, blah, blah, blah. The Russian, Don, Drew, gets Roman, Felicia, goddamn Tariq. Oh, Diana calls Tariq up. Then that's kind of crazy. We didn't really see Tariq that much. So Tariq gets the phone call. Hello? Davis, is you there? Davis is like, yeah, what's going on, Tariq? He's like, man, shit, some crazy shit. But, man, I got that information, man. You know, we about to make some shit happen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My baby mama calling me. Yo, what up, Diana? He had to put his, sex, his sexy voice on. So he went, <clears throat> hello. Tariq? Yeah, what's going on, baby? Tariq, I need you right now. Where you at? You know what I'm saying? I told you I got you and the baby. Wherever y'all at, you know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> my bad, forgive me. No, I'm not crying. I'm not crying, Diane. I'm just, I just, I'm just thinking about our. <laughs> Every time I talk to you, it just reminds me of what we could have had. Tariq, this is not the time for you to be crying. I need your help right now. What's going on, Diana? I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake. What do you mean you made a mistake? I, I killed a. What the fuck did you just say? Felicia, I'm over here now. I'm playing with the toys and sitting on the stairs. Why did you call me? Tariq, I just need you to get over. I don't know what to do next. There's a baby over here and I, I don't know. So Tariq is on the phone call like, man, what? Why would you call me? Didn't you, didn't you kick me out? The, see, this is what goes on in my mind. Didn't she kick Tariq out the hospital this morning? Put a one in the chat if at the beginning of the episode, Diana kicked Tariq out the hospital because she didn't want nothing to do with Tariq. Or put a two if Diana loved Tariq and she wanted Tariq to stay around. Put a one if she kicked him out. Put a two if she wanted Tariq to stay around because uh, she said, I think if my memory, if my memory is correct, she said Tariq couldn't protect her and she didn't want him around. So why are you calling my phone for help? You see, that's, that's what goes on in my mind. 
Now, some people may call it petty, but I call this being a civilized adult. If you told me you ain't want to fuck with me, you told me you didn't want to see me, don't call my motherfucking phone because I'm not answering. Diana, Tariq. Oh, I wouldn't even answer the call. Uh, whatever Diana got going on now, I done wiped my hands clean of that. We ain't got no connections. We ain't got no ties. She ain't want to see me. I ain't man enough to protect her. Don't call me about shit. I don't need nothing from you. I'm straight. I just, hey, matter of fact, I'm about to, hey, you better get off my phone. I'm calling Davis back. What's up, Davis? Yeah, man, nah, man, that motherfucking baby, you know how baby mama, well, let me stop saying baby mama. That ain't my baby mama. You know how them Tejadas be. Man, I know you, man, how is it dealing with Monet? She be tripping too? Man, Diana on some other shit. This morning, she gonna wild out and tell me I couldn't protect her when I had to go do that thing. You know what I'm talking about. I had to go do that thing for, for old girl. And then she told me I wasn't protected. And when I did that, well, yeah, you know, we did benefit from that because that deal we got with Noma, crazy. But yeah, I did that shit for her. She talking about I'm the reason she in the hospital. And then she going to kick me out. But now she calling my phone talking about she made it. Man, I'm not fucking with her. Davis is like, you know what, Tariq, you're right, young man. You need to stay away from that nonsense. And let them to hide us. They'll handle themselves. Man, you ain't lying. Bring, bring. Send a text message. Tariq, please, I need you. I need you right now. The fuck this? No offense to anybody, man. What this bitch want? You looking at the phone like, man, what the fuck did this motherfucker want? You know when you riding, you listening to music, and someone call your phone, you looking like, man, what the fuck did they want? You trying to cruise? You on the you on the highway? You got to get to point A to point B. Man, what the fuck did they want? Hello. Oh, I was just seeing what you was doing. Nigga, nothing. Hey, man, I'm going to call you back, man, when I get to my location. Tariq just cruising the streets. It's 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. Bling, 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 bling. He got Effie at the house, and she's waiting on him. Before he pulls up, Diana calls, and she's hating. She didn't kill the cop. I told her to lose my number. I don't want you. That baby is gone. Let me take you to a place nice and quiet where Diana ain't got to know. Man, fuck Diana. Tariq should have answered that phone. He should have went to that house. I would have, man, fuck that. Fuck that. I would have went over there. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. But Tariq ends up pulling up to the house. Tariq pulls up to the house. She talking about there's a baby upstairs. Little Jacob comes down. We already know that they went up there and read a bedtime story. I'm Officer Thomas. Man, that baby wouldn't have seen my face. I wouldn't have been touching anything. I wouldn't have been in here talking to Diana. I would have looked in there. You know how you like go up to the door? Damn, I thought you just like shot her or something. Nigga, there's blood. Ever. I, there's nothing we can do. This is a this two man team, and you in here emotional and crying and shit. I'm gonna be doing all the work. Oh no, I'm not going in there. Hold on, Diana. Hold on, Diana. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm gonna run to the truck real quick. Man, I'm Tariq. I'm leaving. But anyway, the baby comes out there. We already know Jacob. My my mama, my mama read uh bedtime. My my mama read bedtime story. Y'all y'all know Mr. Mr. Mo come over and and they go in my mama room and and, and Mr. Mo be making a noise like uh, 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 uh. And, and he say man this shit good and he he be drinking he he be drinking here in Hennessy he say hen dog a roo, a roo. he be he be walking around my mama house and, and just his underwear. So little Jacob over here hating and telling on me. So I'm thinking, man, Tariq, get up out this house, man. Because if he remembers me, he going to remember you. But they end up putting the baby to bed. And they go into the living room and start having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. They sitting down. Where is it at? Tariq is looking like a proud father. Diana in there reading. They go downstairs.
And Tariq is just in here. And you know what Tariq is thinking. He's thinking, man, what am I doing here? Put a five in the chat. If you ever had a situation where you didn't pull it up over somebody's house and you're like, man, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? I told y'all there was one time in Arizona. I went to this woman's house one time and she had a, she had a daughter. I think her daughter was like five. And, uh, and it, was, it was morning time. I had stayed the night. And <laughs> this story is always, always funny to me. So I stayed the night and I woke up in the morning. And the girl, she was like, Hey, I'm going to go make breakfast. So I'm thinking, all right, she got some food in the crib. She's like, I'm about to run to the, I saw, I see you're getting dressed. She's talking about, I'm going to run to the store. So I'm thinking, all right, she about to leave me here. She's like, hey, my daughter's going to be in the other room. I stopped her. I said, wait a minute. What do you mean? What do you mean? You leaving your daughter here? She's like, yeah, I'm just going to run to the store. I said, oh, no, 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 no. You're not leaving me here with your daughter. Like, <laughs> first of all, I'm not around nobody's kid by myself. Secondly, I'm not watching nobody's kid. And third of all, man, the hell with that. Man, with that baby like choking on something in the other room, that baby going to like the kitchen or something and getting into some shit. Hell no. And then I was thinking, what is it? Can you say fourth of all? Fourth. I was like, that's just irresponsible. Hell, I barely know you. You barely know me. I'm not watching this kid. So I got up and got dressed. I'm like, nah, I'm good on breakfast. I'll go give you some breakfast on the way home. But yeah. I was sitting over there thinking, like, man, what the hell did she just say? She's going to leave. No, nah, hell no. She's like, no, nah, she'll just be in there playing. Not with me. <laughs> Not with me over there as a supervisor. Uh, no. So I got up and did. Fuck that. <laughs> but Tariq and Diana in here, Tariq got a manicure or a pedicure. Which one is on the hands? There's a manicure on the hand, ain't it? Tariq done got his nails done. Just a clear coat on there. And then they talking about Tariq. I just don't feel right after this. I don't feel right after this. He's like, yeah, it never, it never does that. So they sitting down on the couch like, man, you know what? Let's just take a break. Let's just let's just think about it. I'm going to do whatever I can for you both. Now I'm looking at Tariq like, dog, the baby's gone. There's no connection with like at this point, let's just put all the BS behind us. The baby is gone, man. There ain't no more love. There ain't no more relationship. We ain't got to pretend no more, y'all. The baby's gone. So they sitting here and then out of nowhere, Monet show up. And Monet's like, oh, my God, what have y'all done done? Shit, the same thing you was going to do, Monet. We didn't took out a cop. Well, I can't say we. So Tariq is looking around like, this is exactly why I had my moment when I found out the baby was no longer here. I do not want to be associated with these damn Tejadas. But shit, it don't end there. Drew shows up. Drew shows up. And we're like, oh, shit, Drew's here to save the day. Monet done pulled the Thule on him. Well, that was false because Don Carter shows up too. And Don Carter tells them all, put your hands up on the ground, you motherfuckers. So everybody's in here and Tariq is like, what the fuck did I get into? I had nothing to do with nothing. And now I'm caught up in all of this because the motherfucking Tejadas are the dumbest crime criminal organization we've seen in years. So now Don Carter's like, nigga, I'm putting this murder on all of y'all. He's like, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. If I'm Tariq, like, wait, 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 wait. If we just being honest, Carter. I ain't say nothing. Not Diana, I ain't say nothing. So he's like, nah, fuck all that. Y'all going down. And Tariq said, man, we going down unless what? He said, well, now you niggas all work for me and I won't leverage on Noma. Uh... Tariq is like, I just killed this nigga Zion for Noma, nigga. I was good. I had a new deal, but now I got to work for this nigga. And Don Carter ain't cheap. 
Don Carter wants 35% off the top. So that means $100. He wants 35. Golly. Golly. 200. He wants 70. 400 a buck 40. <laughs> 800. 800. 800. He wants 480. Oh. Why? So Tariq then got caught up in all of this. And this is why Diana is not the MVP because no one advanced this episode. They all got set back because fucking Diana killed Felicia and she wasn't supposed to kill Felicia. Tariq warned her, Monet warned her, Kane warned her, Felicia warned her before it. Even Carter told Monet to tell Diana not to do anything stupid. Diana is not the MVP. This has got to be the worst body in power. This just got everyone jammed up with three episodes left. Diana screwed everyone over. And now Don Carter is leaning on Tariq talking about use that Ivy League education. And you got to be the one to piece all this shit together. All Tariq did was show up because Diana slapped a cop and then killed a cop. And now Tariq is fucking under the microscope of Don Carter, who we know will pop a nigga without hesitation. Damn you, Diana. Damn you, Diana. Look how Carter's talking to Tariq. Yeah, nigga. You under my spell now, nigga. You got to do as I say, nigga. And I want information on no my nigga. Damn, Diana. Y'all see what happens? I told y'all, a Di uh, not a Diana, uh, the Tejada family is the worst family to be around. You don't want to be involved with them at all. Why they do Tariq like this, man? Tariq ain't did nothing to nobody. He ain't harmed nobody. He ain't hurt nobody. He was just driving, talking to Davis. Like, Davis, life is good, man, you know? I talked to my mom. The baby is gone. I'm counting my blessings. <sighs> That's Tariq's story, y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Let me see where these likes is at, though. All right, we, we about right. About 70 likes. All right. My name is Modi J. This is On The Clock. We talk about each individual character. We break down their story from their perspective. And we just tell it like it is, man. We don't make nothing up. Everything we say is what happened in the episode. We just talked about Tariq. We covered Diana already. We got Effie. Man, we rolling. We about to talk about Drew, then Kane, then the administrative group. So we right on time. We right on time. Hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe.